Okay class, so hey, we're gonna talk about bees and wasps. So, right off the bat, let's talk about wasps. I don't like wasps, so let's get them out of the way, right? Now, some fun things about a wasp. Okay, they are always going to be bigger than bumblebees. Okay, so as you can see in this picture here, wasps are shiny, they're slick. Think of like a Ferrari, they're, they're shiny and they look like they'd be fast, right? Now, when wasps fly, you can see their legs because wasps are a predator. They eat other insects. Now, they also eat nectar and sugary drinks. That's why you'll see them around, you know, barbecues and stuff like that. Wasps but... are a carnivore, so they will eat other insects like, like, like right here. And um, so they're beneficial to the garden in that way. So they do help eat other pests. Now they are not considered a pollinator. That's not their job. They, if they happen to get pollen on their bodies while they're maybe trying to get some nectar and they go to another flower, well, that's a benefit, but that's not what their job is. You know what I mean? That's not what they were made for. Here's a fact about a wasp is when they sting, they don't die. Like, like what happens to honeybees, which we'll talk about in a minute. But, Wasps can sting and sting and sting and that's why they're aggressive because they don't have to worry about Losing their life when they sting They're just going to sting They have multiple stingers inside their abdomen So that's one big thing about wasps is they're just kind of mean because they're a predator So they have to be an aggressive type of animal um, Or I'm sorry an aggressive type of insect now. Here's an important thing about wasps. Just stay away from them if the bee that you're looking at looks all slick like the pictures that I've been showing, those are wasps. Stay away from them. They will probably sting you and then just fly off and not care. Just stay away from the wasps. No good. No, no good. Now there's a different type of wasp also called a hornet. Now hornets will be even bigger than wasps normally. Hornets are very, very aggressive. I'm showing a couple, I'm going to show some pictures here of hornets. If you see these, you definitely get away from them. You do not want to be anywhere near a hornet. They are very aggressive and very mean. Those are wasps. Now, let's talk about bumblebees. Bumblebees. Now, at the very beginning, I showed a bumblebee. Little fat guy, right? He's black and yellow, little fat fellow. Uh, Again, they don't want to really do anything but get pollen and go home. They don't want to bother you. They don't want to sting you. Now, when I filmed this, that video earlier, I stood there and he, he flew around my head a couple times and went to the flowers, flew around my head, went to the flowers. He's not going to sting you unless you slap it or unless you're aggressive toward it. Bumblebees just want to be left alone, 100%. Now, they're the same as a honeybee. They go out to pollinate flowers, collect nectar, collect pollen, and go home. That's it. Do not, they do not want to be bothered. And they, are not going, and they are not going to bother you unless you bother them. So bumblebees are awesome. They don't even look like they should be able to fly, honestly. Those little tiny wings, that big old fat body. <laughs> okay, so those are bumblebees. I've shown a couple pictures here super non-aggressive they just don't want to do their job and go home now let's go talk about honeybees okay honeybees they're not fast they're little short chubby little bees that are covered in hair that just fly around from flower to flower they do not want to bother you so you have to just leave the honeybee alone it is it is not going to sting you unless you mess with it if you go over there and slap it it's going to sting you now the sad thing about a honeybee is that it only has one stinger. That's it. So if it stings you, 
it's going to die. And that means that it was so scared or it felt that it had to defend itself or its queen in such a way that it gave up its own life to do that. All he wants to do is go collect nectar, go into a flower, pollinate, and move on. Now, honeybees and bumblebees have what's called a pollen basket, which I'm showing right here. Think of it like a little backpack on your legs. It will collect pollen, and then they take that pollen back to the nest and turn it into honey. But when the bees are going from flower to flower collecting that pollen, they're pollinating all the flowers and fruits and vegetables. And without pollinators, bees and butterflies, bats and birds, beetles and humans, there would be no fruits, flowers, or vegetables. Now, if you're interested in learning about different pollinators, click on the link below that's in the description and that will take you to my pollinator video where I explain the six different types of pollinators and why they're important. Another, another thing about bumblebees and honeybees is that when they fly, you can't see their legs because they tuck their legs up as they're flying around. You can only see their legs when they go to grab the flower or when they go to land. That's an interest, that's pretty cool. Now, I've been showing pictures throughout this video of the different bees, the wasps, bumblebees, honeybees, and what they look like. Can you all tell the difference now between a wasp, honeybee, and bumblebee? Hopefully you can. Again, bumblebees and honeybees are gonna be little chubby guys with a bunch of fur. And they're beyond, they are very non-aggressive. Wasps look shiny and mean. They got kind of like a face. And they can sting more than once. So again, wasps, stay away from them. Honeybees and bumblebees, stay away from them. Just let them do their job. Again, they just want to go to a flower and go home. They don't want to do anything else. All right, class, I hope you all learned something from this. Again, wasps and bees are very different. They have different purposes. Wasps eat other insects. Bumblebees and honeybees pollinate. So two different types of bee. Both have their own purpose and job, but very important that you leave them all alone. This video, have your parents like the, like the video. Subscribe to the channel if they haven't done so already. Check this channel out on Facebook and Instagram. It's Down Home Backyard Gardening. And if you all have comments or ideas for other videos, ask your parents or your teachers to leave that idea in the description below. Continue learning, continue raising your hand. And if you haven't started growing anything yet, think about getting a plant, even just one little plant. But raise that plant, water that plant, take care of that plant, and get out in the garden. Get dirt in your nails and have fun. Until next time, everyone, shine bright and harvest hard. Bye. So if you can around, you know, barbecues and stuff like that, but. but so if you can just leave the honeybee alone, just let it do its job. And again, without as I'm saying that, a bee is right there. Just doing its job. Um.